What's going on? I'm Sam, and today Griffin and I are going to go to one of his favorite places in Columbus, and that's my buddy's house because there's a lot of things for him to get into, and I'm going to be working on some popsicle stick production. So, Griffin, you ready for some breakfast? Breakfast? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Leave it. Sit. Give me Paul. Other Paul. Hey. Griffin. Leave it. Well, I don't have a broom, so take it. I cannot believe you did that. Why do you like your collar so much? Is that your collar? Yeah, good boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Morgan called me right before I got here, and I guess her car wasn't starting. There was nothing I could do for her over the phone, so she had to get a ride home, and she'll have to get a ride to work tomorrow. It looks like when I get back, I might be changing a starter. I might have to tow her car from her work back to my shop, or I might be able to hit the starter with a hammer, depending what's wrong, but it does sound like it's the starter, so a hammer should do the trick. It could be something electrical, though, because... It has a little bit weird symptoms. It's been doing this about probably five times over the last year, but it usually started after trying for a little bit. I don't know. My guess is on the starter, at least to start with. So Morgan called and she did make it home okay, so that's great. And when I get back, I'm going to have to look at her car so that I can fix it and make it where she can drive again without worrying about it not starting. Well, I am all checked out and ready to go. Uh, it looks like it's actually snowing. I found out last night that it's supposed to snow and get really bad today and icy. So if it got too bad, I might have to stay all night again. I doubt that's going to happen. I'm going to try and leave early and wrap this up quick. But, you know, anything can happen. So these first kits have been so slow. I've just been trying to make sure the alignment's right, everything's going good, and kind of developing my own process. These uh, holders for the popsicle sticks were already here from the guy that was developing these processes before me. I'm not exactly sure uh, how he did everything. I know that he made these so you can flip them over and do both sides. I probably would have made them a little bit different but it seems to work okay some sticks get stuck but for the most part that you know that's fine whatever but i need to make sure i can get these processes down so that they're quick and efficient so i got the alignment pretty good i'm just going to keep running through it looks like it's taking me i don't know like seven to ten minutes per set right now but that's just because i'm kind of going slow and meticulous I should be able to get that under five. The theoretical minimum runtime, just based on the laser, what it's set right now for the speed and power, would be just under three minutes. And that's having the laser run nonstop with just a little bit of time to reset. Um, technically, if I got faster, the program could be set to a quicker speed and a lower power, but I'm gonna keep that how it is. If I can get under five minutes, I think that would be pretty good. So 
So I got it figured out. I got a few kits made up and everything's going smooth. So it's at the point now they can just be cranked out over and over again with the repetitiveness that I love. Uh, right now we're gonna go grab a bite to eat and talk some business. So Griffin and I are gonna head out and get out of the cold. So far I've made 48 sets of these sticks. I'm only about a third done, so there's still some more work to do. So I've made some really good headway with the processes. The biggest limiting factor has been putting the popsicle sticks into these holders. I've gotten a lot quicker at that. And since you have to do both sides, I've been kind of running these in a loop where I do one side and then I do the second side of the other then I do the second side of the first one and then the first side of the other. And in the meantime, I'm loading up the empty ones and bagging the others. I bought these brown plastic bags to hold uh, all the sticks. They're not gonna be how they're delivered, but for now they're a really good way to differentiate the kits so that they're not all just going into a bucket and then they have to be recounted. I should be able to get the speed just a little bit quicker um, but I'm pretty happy with how everything's going so far. Oh my gosh! Ooh. The laser had stopped working for some reason. I tried a few things, couldn't get it going back on. I waited like five minutes, now it turned back on, no problem. I'm thinking it either, well I guess it wouldn't have got too cold, so I'm guessing it overheated and it just needed time to cool, which is a little concerning because it has a water chiller. I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it's working now at least. So I got my process down really good. Uh, I've been running these just about three minutes a run, maybe just a little more. Uh, when I first clocked myself, I was doing two and seven minutes, but with the problems, I was averaging closer to three minutes and 50 seconds. I did like seven runs in 27 minutes. Lately, I've been having no holdups for the most part and I've been consistently getting about three minutes per run, maybe just a little over, so that's amazing. You can see my flow here, it's pretty streamlined. I would change some more things if I had to do this more than like a week or two, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty good. He made a pretty decent holder for these sticks, and I'm really glad he made two sets because you're able to run them in parallel and yeah it's just going pretty quick the worst part though is one of the sets of popsicle sticks was super slippery and smaller than the others too so just laying them out took a lot longer because they would slip and then they would also just fly out of the container when they were under pressure and they were just a little bit shorter so they didn't have any friction holding them in. It was just awful. It got my time really high up there and I'm glad only one box of those existed. I actually didn't even finish that box because I don't want to deal with it till later. But for the most part, all the boxes went really smoothly.
Well, I accidentally just caught my thumb in the lid of this laser. The lid's pretty heavy, so yeah, it didn't go too well. I don't want to get any of this stuff on any of the parts, so I'm done for the night. I wanted to stay another hour or two to finish it up. Looks like that's not going to happen. And it's not too bad. I don't think the fingernail's going to fall off, but we'll find out in the next few days. Uh, it's not going to fall off. It only dropped from maybe like this high. It's just a pretty heavy lid and you know, that's a pinch point. But, well, at least I got a lot done. I think I made actually 101 bagfuls of these parts. Well, maybe my finger broke the laser because it's not actually firing the laser again. It had been fine until right now. The blower fan and cooler are finally off so I can finally hear myself. But now that I'm done, I got 102 of these runs done and each of these runs is a set of at least 200. Uh, the ones I counted were usually between 208 and like 217. They guarantee at least 200 sticks, so I made sure that we've been hitting that, so I didn't count all of them, but any of the sets that look like they might have less sticks than others, I would count just to make sure we were on target. There's still enough kits to do, about 32 kits or so. Those do need to be done because I didn't make quite enough for all the pre-orders, so... He might be able to do that on his own, but he was busy most of the day, so I didn't get to explain everything to him. Chances are I'll just come up here another day and finish those kits off, because it won't take that long. 30 kits will take me about two hours max, I think. And I'm really excited there's a chance this laser might go to my shop with me. But anyway, I have a hour and 40 minute drive in this snow and ice. If it's too bad, I'm gonna stop for the night. It's probably gonna take me at least two hours to get home. Unless the roads are a lot clearer than they look. We got about two inches of snow while I've been here. Hey, you're so sleepy, buddy. You ready to go home? Let's go home. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. We can't forget your bed. What, now you like your bed? Come on, let's go. Yeah, that's yours. That's your bed. What are you doing? Well, to add insult to injury, a box of sticks just broke open. These were already cut. They were my reference sticks. They're not super important, but now I have to play pickup in the snow with no gloves. I'm really tempted just to leave these here and tell him sorry, but I'm not going to do that to him. So 250. No. Oh my gosh. 500 pickup. There's 500 in here. So, yay! That wasn't quite as bad as I thought. My hands are only a little cold, but I don't know about you, Griffin. I am ready to go home. <sighs> and then I get to come back here tomorrow. Not quite this far, but back to the place I've been doing the injection molding. rough we slept at a gas station I actually do need to get gas now and make the rest of the trip home that was rough but thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one Jackson we're home did you miss us hi buddy hi Jackson Jackson, did you miss me? Yeah. 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 You're a good boy. Oh, hi, girlfriend. What'd you get? What'd you get? Come here.